Okay, I am going to make a NPC that will run to different locations um, inside of this uh, arena. So the first thing here I want to do is add a nav mesh, and that's where the uh, the AI will go around. So I will go into volumes, and then choose this right here, nav mesh balance volume. Drop it into the world. Do that. I'm going to size it so it fits into the whole arena. Okay. And like this, and bring it to the top, and a little bit bigger. And if I hit P. You can see where the nav mesh will go. So you can see the possibility the AI can run up the stairs here. So I'm going to hide that. So the next thing in here, I need a mesh doing that or a AI doing that. So I'm going to use the third person character. So I'm going to grab this, drop into my AI folder. Uh, I'm going to make a copy of it. And then go into my AI folder. Um, I'm going to double click this. Um, what we need to do now is set up the character uh, for um, the AI. So we don't need a camera, delete that. We don't need the camera boom, this right here. Um, but what we do need is a AI um, uh, what do we call it? A, a pawn sensing we need pawn sensing we going to select that um, and in order to see it we have to compile and now I'm select it and now we can see it has a bunch of lines going around but the one we're interested in is the these green ones right here uh, right now see the peripheral vision angle is 90 so we could change that to 45 what more one of the human sees, uh, you can see it change. So whenever I come inside of here, that's where the uh, AI will see. But for the NPC, um, uh, we don't really quite need it yet. So the next thing in here, what we need to do now is uh, we need to um, delete all this. We don't need any of this because it's not a character that we're controlling. Delete that. So the first thing in here, what we're going to do is uh, we are going to create a custom event. Custom event. We're going to name this move random location. Um, for this means here now, so uh, we're going to get another function call AI move to AI move to do that all right so next thing in here uh, you need this right here uh, the pawn we actually going to reference to self do that uh, this right here get a reference to self like that next in here we want the AI to choose a random location so there is a function called get random we want to get the this one here get random point navigate navigable radius <laughs> uh, do that. so select that okay um, what we want to do now here with the origin um, we want to get actor location get actor location this right here um, we also want to set this radius this is how far it's going to look for so let's put down a thousand pixels radius okay we also want to uh, in order for this to work uh, we have to tell it to start so we could go to event begin play this one right here 
and we can choose this here. So if we create a custom function, we want this to start this. So we want to say new um, random, there it is, move random location, which is this right here, click that. And the last thing we want to do is when it's finished on success, we want it again to move random location. Move to random location. And then we just going to hit compile, save, and we're going to put it up here and drop our AI into the world and deploy. You can see it's picking the location that it's running. All right. So what I want to do now is I'm going to um, adjust this so it doesn't just seem like it's running like crazy to spot to spot. So there's a simple solution to that. Um, it is we're going to put a delay here. So if we go like this, we just pick the side, put the delay node in, and so six and success like this and compile save back so now we should yeah a little bit pause have a you know point two seconds but we can adjust that even more by going um here duration we can set a uh, range um here random range of float so maybe the minimum will be 0.2 and maybe it will be 3 seconds. So now if we um, hit compile, hit save, do that, um, go in here, okay. so it's thinking, so now it's doing between the 0.2 and um, 3 seconds. So it looks a little bit more logical rather than a practic squirrel. All right, um, that is how you make a very simplified NPC running in the map. Thank you.